G'day YouTube. I've recently gone to update my Linux Mint and I've just noticed that there's some level 3 updates required. So I just thought I'd do a quick video to explain the difference between all the levels, levels 1 to 5, from green through to yellow, through to orange, through to red. Now it's quite simple and uh, there is actually a little bit of a legend here to show you guys. So if you went to edit preferences on your update manager where you'll find all of these updates and we'll just tab across the levels and we'll find levels 1 through to 5. Now you can see it will uh, give us the option to visibly see up to level 3 and levels 1 and 2 are the most important ones of course. They are both tested and in some cases provided by Linux Mint so definitely use those ones. Now level 3 is uh, uh, updates that are believed to be safe just not tested so uh, I would I'd be okay to put those on. Now here's where it gets a bit more tricky. Levels 4 and 5, orange and red, they are not, they're just, they're, they're considered dangerous because they, they do updates to Linux headers that aren't necessarily uh, tested or even from Linux Mint at all. So unless you know what you're doing, stay pretty much clear away from these ones. Although I have heard a few people say that uh, when their system just does not work with, uh, you know, their hardware is just not playing nice with Linux Mint, uh, their last and only option is to give this a go to see if the level 4 and 5 work. Um, but, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily give that a go or try it. But if, uh, just as a last resort, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, you can do that then. But, uh, yeah, so pretty much, in a nutshell, just uh, stick to the top three and you guys will be fine. So I'll just be updating those now. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed, and I hope that this video has been of some help for you. Ciao.